Okay, here we are. Um, explanation about the newest Tag M L36 grenade launcher by Tagin. Uh, the major things you're supposed to know before you purchasing or using this uh, device, um, I will explain right now in few words, very shortly. First of all, this model of grenade launcher uh, was designed for uh, any RIS 20mm uh, Picatinny rails that you can find on uh, many of uh, M4 models, SCAR models or uh, anything that's equipped with 20mm uh, Picatinny rails. First of all, we have to uh, put a pressure uh, inside this grenade launcher in order to make it work. How are we doing it? We opening this lid by a uh, quarter twist. Uh, it equipped by magnet. This magnet has two purposes. The first purpose, you can catch uh, the tank with it and uh, align it uh, simply inside a chamber. Uh, to take it take it out but the main purpose is to uh, keep it silent inside once without pressure by the way we are not recommend to run uh, on the field without the pressure in the chamber because uh, the lid will lose when it under the pressure lid will be almost impossible to open until you degassing the pressure out of the chamber So the penetration process, we putting this uh, 12 gram CO2 tank inside, opening a rear side. This is a rear side, this is a front side. We will talk about the front side a little bit later. Pushing all the way down to pierce a tank uh, to activate the pressure inside. How are you opening and closing uh, and loading this grenade launcher? You have a uh, unlock button here that you are supposed to uh, press then you can load a projectile inside, then you simply closing it back until you hear the click. In order to insert a projectile inside this grenade launcher, we have to prepare it. Uh, to shoot the projectile out of this grenade launcher, uh, you need a uh, few things. First of all, to use an MK2 uh, projectile type, I will explain about it a little bit later. And you will need the casing. Like in uh, any real NATO grenade launcher, uh, the projectile inserted inside the casing, then when you're shooting, you're just taking the casing out of the, uh, uh, out of the barrel and throwing it, or in our case, you can uh, keep it for, uh, for the next shot. Now, we're just simply putting a uh, MK2 uh, ammo inside the casing. As I showed before, opening a grenade launcher, inserting it, aligning rifles with fins, putting it all the way down, and then closing and deal the click. So you are ready to fire your projectile. After you made your shot, I'm sure a precise one, you have to take the uh, shooting casing out. You have two ways to do it. First case is just to open and throw it. I'm sure uh, you will afford yourself another one, or you can keep it for uh, next shot. Then you take in another, uh, another projectile and putting inside, making all this cycle once again. We have a front side here and it's adjustable left and right. Uh, the reason for it is different weight of the ammunition. Uh, for example, um, the Reaper is a bit heavier than Archangel. So Archangel traveling more uh, with its twist aside than uh, Reaper does. So how we adjusting the front side? It's simple. We just take in a hex key, Allen key, and twisting the screw and our side is moving left and right. So you can adjust uh, it in order to shoot uh, your ammunition properly. 
Now, it's not smart to run with this grenade launcher without rifle because it's under barrel launcher and we have to put it under some barrel. In order to do that, we have to open uh, the screws. Take any gun that you want to install it on. As I told you before with 20 millimeter rail, take it all the way down and then screw it back both of it now uh, we don't like when the uh, flags are looking to opposite sides so we can align it we just have to pull it up and then twist and put to the position we would like to see it on like this pure beauty very very important thing never but never shoot without casing you if you want to make a uh, blank fire with this grenade launcher just insert an empty casing inside close and shoot because you have this large o-ring will be just blown out uh, it will shoot without this uh, without this o-ring but uh, the air will leak a little bit during the shot so the distance of your shot will decrease. Uh, difference between MK1 and MK2 type of our ammo. First of all MK1 is not compatible with ML36 grenade launcher. It's important to know. Do not put MK1 ammo inside the ML36. Don't try to do it there is a very good chance that uh, this projectile will stuck inside the, uh, inside the barrel and will go off, will explode inside the barrel. Don't try it. Don't try to modify a uh, MK1 projectile in order to uh, make it compatible with the casing. It will not work. We tried it. The only compatible type of our ammo with ML36 is MK1 projectiles. What is the difference? As you can see, uh, these fins, we call it skirt. The skirt on MK1 is on the bottom and it's pretty wide. So it will not fit the casing. You won't be able to put the MK1 projectiles inside the casing. And here the skirt is lifted and it's narrow. So it's making this uh, ammo type to fit the casing and it will be uh, compatible with ML36 grenade launcher. In other hand, MK2 ammunition is compatible with all our launching devices uh, with Shell, Shell Pro, Shell VOG, uh, TAG uh, O15 and ML36. During this year, we will get rid of MK1 ammunition and will produce only one kind of ammo, MK2, the new generation of Tagain projectiles. Okay, now about the new Reaper MK2. Uh, we decided to make it with uh, two fuse times, three and a half seconds and four and a half seconds. The three and a half seconds will go off uh, within a uh, distance of 110-120 meters and four and a half seconds you can shoot to 160 meters it will go off exactly on this distance after four and a half seconds when you're using it with ML36 or any CO2 powered uh, shells by tagging. Now we highly recommend you to use our uh, smart pouches for projectiles uh, and uh, we tested it on a Wargame 10 game and uh, we found a few things that might be usable for you and I want to let you know about it. For example, we found that if you're putting the three and a half second projectiles on one side, like with the uh, butt uh, aimed left and 
for uh, four and a half seconds with the bot end right. So you can close uh, a battle pouch and you always know that if you're pulling your projectile from the right side, you have a four and a half second. Dangerous. And if you're pulling it from the left side, this is three and a half seconds. You will always know uh, which projectile to pull. Uh, it might be not three and a half and, or, and four and a half seconds projectiles, but it might be uh, archangels from one side and reapers from other side. Or if you cannot use a uh, pyrotechnics uh, in the uh, current situation, you can put a paladins. So it will be very handy to load it in opposite directions. All the MK1 projectiles will uh, come with a regular white box and all the uh, MK2 projectiles will come with the black box. You will easily uh, see the difference between MK1 and MK2 ammo, black box and white box. I believe that uh, all this information will be very handy for you and you will enjoy to use your TAG ML36 and uh, new ammo uh, MK2 uh, in your games and trainings. Fire in the hole!